Top 5 North American Cryptids and Creatures All around the world, people are fascinated by the existence of undiscovered monsters. In North America, there are also mysterious cryptids that fascinate even the most hard-nosed skeptic. The five on this list are creatures whose sightings still continue even today. These are five North American cryptids and creatures. Number five, the Jersey Devil. Many cities in America have their share of monsters, and for New Jersey, it's a mythical cryptid known as the Jersey Devil. In 1735, a woman named Jane, Mother Leeds, was about to give birth to her 13th child, and during the pregnancy, she cursed it and said, let this one be the devil. As lore would have it, when Jane gave birth, the child arrived with bat-like wings and a horse-shaped head. It yelped several times before flying out through the chimney. The Jersey Devil had been born. In other accounts, the creature attacked his mother and all the people present during its awakening. Ever since then, it's said to haunt the thick forests of the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. For centuries, reports of Jersey Devil sightings have been recorded. This included sightings by Napoleon Bonaparte's brother Joseph while he was hunting at Bordentown in 1820. The sightings continued, and in 1925 in Greenwich, a farmer shot an unknown animal and photographed it, but none of the people he showed it to could identify what exactly it was. One of the most famous incidents happened between January 16th and 23rd of 1909. Strange tracks going through backyards and fields, under fences, and even across the rooftop of houses began popping up in the Delaware Valley. Then, strange footprints were noted in cities like Camden and Philadelphia. Sightings of the Jersey Devil grew rampant and caused panic and fear in the residents. Strangely, bloodhounds refused to follow the tracks, and even the schools in Philly and New Jersey area suffered low attendance because of it. Meanwhile, workers in mills inside the Pine Barrens refused to go to work in fear of running into the devil as they traveled through the woods. In one sighting during this period, police fired at the creature but couldn't take it down. During the day, it attacked a trolley car filled with passengers before flying away. Witnesses who saw it described the creature as looking like a kangaroo with wings. Another trolley car filled with passengers saw the creature standing in front of the tracks of their car. For the entire week, numerous reports of dead livestock, particularly chickens, were reported. The most widespread of these happened in the towns of Millville and Bridgeton. Finally, by the end of this week-long rampage, a woman in Camden reported seeing the beast trying to eat her dog. She then hit it with a broomstick and it flew away. Although reports of the Jersey Devil are still around, nothing matches the frequency reported during that week in 1909. Many dismiss the existence of the devil as nothing but folklore, but for those who have spent the night or live in the area, the Jersey Devil is a very real creature whose existence should be taken seriously. Number 4. Skunk Ape Considered an aggressive version of Bigfoot, the skunk ape is a humanoid creature said to inhabit the swampy areas of Florida, Arkansas, and North Carolina. The reason for the name is because it looks like a large ape creature with a distinctive foul odor. Nobody knows for sure when the term skunk ape was first used, but it's believed to have originated in a highly publicized sighting in 1957 by a pair of hunters who said the creature invaded their camp. The 60s and 70s then paved the way for more sightings, often occurring in the Florida Everglades. As for its behavior, this ape is said to wander into campsites and forage through dumpsters having a curiosity similar to a bear. Those who have seen it describe it as having a large build, around 7 feet tall in some cases. It's estimated to weigh around 400 pounds, but often reported as smaller and leaner compared to that of the Bigfoot. Its entire body is covered in long, coarse hair, and it moves quickly despite living in thick vegetation. Skunk ape experts add that the creature is patient and attentive, often content with watching people. However, there are also those who say it's territorial and aggressive and won't hesitate to attack a human if it feels threatened. One of the more recent and interesting sightings was by an elderly woman from Mayaca, Florida in 2000. She said that for several days a large ape-like creature would come to her backyard and steal apples. 
This happened on three separate nights, and she finally snapped two photos showing the creature, which she described as looking like an orangutan. As for videos, there are several out there, but some of them are questionable or simply difficult to discern whether they're authentic or not. One video, known as the Lettuce Lake footage, was captured by two men in a canoe. They recorded a long black shape in the distance pulling at a log in the swamp waters. The large creature moved around in the swamp for several feet before ultimately disappearing. To this day, the skunk ape is still a complete mystery. Many want to believe it exists and that it could be an undiscovered hominid type creature or a distant relative of the Bigfoot or Sasquatch. However, there are also skeptics saying that while it's possible for creatures to remain hidden, by now we should have found some form of DNA evidence about it. Number 3. Chupacabra Called the Goat Sucker, El Chupacabra, or simply Chupacabra, is a famous cryptid known to many people today. It's said to attack various livestock including goats, chickens, and other farm animals. Chupacabras are widely reported to roam all over the Americas, but notably around Mexico, Puerto Rico, and much of the southwestern portion of the United States. The first reported attack and sighting of a chupacabra occurred in Puerto Rico in 1995 when eight sheep were found dead. All of them had puncture wounds on their chests and had been drained completely of their blood. By August of that year, a key witness, Madeline Tolentino, said she saw the creature in a small town called Canovanas. There, more than 150 farm animals as well as pets were killed during the flurry of attacks in the region. The odd thing is that in 1975, a similar incident of animal attacks were reported in the town of Mocha. It was attributed to a creature called the Vampire of Mocha, because the dead animals also had puncture wounds and were drained of blood. However, at that time, no one had any clue what could have done it. Shortly after the incidents, in 1995, reported sightings of the Chupacabra blew up. It was often blamed for the countless animal deaths, while various eyewitnesses say they've actually encountered the creature at some point. There are two distinct descriptions of the chupacabra. On the one hand, those who've seen it describe it as being monkey-like without any tail. It has large oval red eyes, glowing gray skin, a long snake-like tongue, fangs, and spinal quills along its body. It's approximately four to five feet tall, and it hopped around like a kangaroo. It also left a foul sulfur stench wherever it had been. In some of the deaths, strange three-toed footprints were also discovered. In later sightings, however, especially in the United States and Mexico, the chupacabra is described as being dog-like. It has a long skinny tail with fangs and bat-like ears. The body is hairless and they have long skinny legs. Are these creatures really the same or perhaps there is another cryptid that is yet to be discovered? Because of the dog-like appearance in some of the later sightings, Many say the chupacabra might be nothing more than wild coyotes afflicted with severe mange. Despite the lack of physical evidence, there are those who argue otherwise, saying the creature is real and continues to hunt animals and terrorize the public. Number 2. Bigfoot One of the most famous and renowned cryptids in the world, the Bigfoot is said to roam forest areas in North America particularly British Columbia and Washington State. Despite being largely reported in North America, various Bigfoot sightings or similar large hominid creatures have been reported in various countries all over the world. Bigfoot is described as being a large ape-like creature that walks upright and is covered with hair. It got its name because it leaves behind large footprints. Historical accounts of Bigfoot have been recorded way before modern times. Native Americans and loggers have versions of the animal, in the 1840s, a missionary recorded stories by Indians who lived near Spokane, Washington, saying they told stories of giants who lived around the mountain peaks and took salmon from the fishermen's nets. In the 1920s, a compiled set of stories were collected by J.W. Burns from a tribe that believed the Sasquatch existed. They showed great offense when told it was nothing but a legend. It was from these compiled accounts that the term Sasquatch also came into modern use to describe the Bigfoot. As for sightings, there are numerous ones. In fact, it's probably the most widely reported cryptid in the entire world. However, one of the most famous sightings that is still hotly debated today is the Patterson-Gimlin film. 
Though many say it's a hoax, even with recent technology, it's still difficult to conclusively tell whether it is an image of a man in a suit or actually the real deal. The film was taken by Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin as they were looking for signs of the creature along Bluff Creek, northwest of Orleans, California. Patterson was an amateur filmmaker and in October of 1967, the two drove to Northern California. As they explored the area between 1.15 and 1.40 p.m., they saw an uprooted tree and then a log jam in a nearby creek. It's here they saw a hunched figure. This creature was big and hairy. Standing in shock, it took Patterson several seconds to take out his camera. By this time, the creature spotted them and began walking in a fast stride away from them. The large beast looked over his shoulder three times as Patterson tried to run after it, resulting in the camera shaking until he got within about 80 feet of the animal. The film in its famous frame 352 has become one of the most recognized purported images of Bigfoot ever. While many claim the footage was staged, others say that certain things about it and the creature are impossible for humans to reproduce. This includes the gait and look of the creature in the video. Whatever the case, to this day, no modern film has exactly replicated these famous images. As for more recent sightings, one chilling encounter was by a big rig driver hauling a load of potatoes in the town of Scripio, Utah on January 8, 2008. As the driver headed down an incline, the fog became heavy and he noticed a pair of eyes by the side of the road which he thought was a deer. He switched on his high beams and was shocked to see a large creature darting from the left to the right side of the road. It took long strides and was about six yards from the truck. The driver, an avid hunter, said he had not seen such a creature before. It stood, upon his estimates, as close to 8 to 10 feet tall and weighed approximately 600 to 800 pounds. It had black hair with big brows and lanky arms. He managed to avoid the creature as it darted out, and when asked, he said he was a skeptic prior to the incident and said that the creature scared the hell out of me. With so many reports, it's hard to imagine every single one of them being made up. But then again, if the Bigfoot is real, then where's the concrete evidence of its existence? Number 1. Mothman Point Pleasant, West Virginia is known for something very unusual. In their town center stands a gleaming 12-foot statue. Cast in stunning silver metal, it shows a large, man-moth creature known appropriately as the Mothman. Although reports and sightings of Mothman are plentiful, the majority of the initial reports of the creature come from a specific area near the old West Virginia Ordnance Works. It's a place known to locals as the TNT area because the structure once manufactured dynamite and ammunition. Mothman is a bipedal creature with a humanoid general shape. It has large red eyes and seems to vary in color from black, gray, to even white. It has two large wings that often lay curled on its back and when unfurled can stretch anywhere between 10 to 15 feet wide. According to eyewitness testimony, it can fly up to speeds of 100 miles an hour. In some reports, the Mothman is said to have had no head and has its red eyes set on its chest instead. The face of the Mothman has never been adequately described because witnesses often suffer a nervous breakdown or a severe form of dread after spotting it. It's been seen walking or shuffling along, but more often it's flying or perched up somewhere. As for sightings, the first report of the creature came from five men digging a grave on November 12, 1966. They said they saw a brown figure flying just above the tree line over their heads. Days later on November 15th, a couple and two other friends were inside their vehicle when they saw a large gray creature with glowing red eyes. The creature pursued their vehicle on Highway 62 as they sped toward town. Unsure of what they saw exactly, they convinced themselves it was nothing but a bird and decided to head back to the area to check it out. To their surprise, the same creature was waiting for them beside Route 62 and as they shone the headlights on it, it flew vertically, speeding up to 100 miles an hour and out of sight. Utterly afraid now, they headed back to town and straight into the Mason County Courthouse to report it. They issued their statements and the following day the local paper had the headline, Couple Sees, Man-Sized Bird, Creature, Something. Soon after this, numerous people started coming forward reporting sightings of a similar creature and sightings of the Mothman continue even to this day. 
Not only is it said to be menacing looking, but its appearance is especially tied to calamities. Many have claimed that sightings of the Mothman precede an often destructive incident. In Point Pleasant, the rash of eyewitness reports preceded the collapse of the Silver Bridge in December of 1967. 46 people died on the bridge that day, and two bodies were never found. Sightings during 9-11, Chernobyl, and even during the Fukushima incident have also been reported over the years. So there were the top five North American cryptids and creatures. Sightings of these cryptids seem to continue on. For some, these creatures are nothing but a figment of the imagination. But for others, they're as real as you and I, and hopefully someday, we'll have an answer one way or the other. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because every Wednesday and Saturday, we'll have a new video for you to check out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.